Hi folks, Mr. Tessalonian here. I want to show you something that I found that works really good as a thermoelectric generator. In fact, it's given me the highest voltages that I've seen so far, and it's in, in combination of the use of a standard construction site pencil. So right here, if I bring that up to the camera, you should see that I've got that pencil lead sharpened. This is an iron wire. We're going to test three different metals on, four different metals on this today, just to show you which one produces the highest voltage. This is an iron wire just looped around the shaved off end of the carbon pencil here, or the graphite carbon mix pencil. In the back of the pencil, I drilled a hole so I could stick my meter up into the carbon in there. I've got the negative side of the meter here hooked up to the iron rod. I've got the voltage meter set on DC current, so let's go ahead and take a lighter here. Let's hook up this uh, combination with a little bit of heat. Over there you should be able to watch the voltmeter increase. So I'm going to show you the max potential of each one of these combinations uh, in conjunction with a pencil. So here we are, we're increasing in voltage. We're up to 3.3 millivolts right there. Let's see where it tops out. It should top out about 4.7 I believe. Alright, so we're probably getting very close now to the top potential without adding cooling fans to the opposite side. So there you go, 5.3 millivolts was the max potential there gained off of the combination of iron and the pencil. So let's go ahead and remove that iron wire from there, take it off of the meter lead. What we're going to try now is a copper lead over here. So let's go ahead and hook that copper lead up, just like that. We'll slide the end over the carbon pencil there making sure that it makes a connection once again. We've got a little bit of heat residing still in the carbon, so when I hooked it up it still produced 0.6 of a millivolt. But as we add heat you'll see that uh, increase just a little below that maybe. I've noticed that the copper takes the longest out of all of them to actually get up to its full potential. And there we are, now we've gone down. So 4.8 millivolts of a max potential without adding cooling, by the way, to the other sides of this. So we got 4.8 with the copper uh, and the pencil conductors there combination. Now what I want to do is try nitinol wire. Uh, this is a very unique metal called nitinol. And what we're going to do is go ahead and hook this up to the negative lead of our meter. Just like that. Once again, let's hook it up over the carbon. Voltmeter should show some kind of voltage because it's still holding heat in the carbon. And here we go. So very small amount of voltage there. And we've already started to go down. So 2.1 millivolts max potential between the nitinol wire and the pencil. Now our last metal, the one that I wanted to show you here. This right now is aluminum. This is what we're going to try now. This is aluminum wire. Very easy to bend. It's an uh, electric fence wire. Let's go ahead and hook that up to the meter. Once again, let's hook that up to the top of the carbon. And let's give that some heat. This is incredible what you're going about to see for millivoltage production for a thermoelectric generator. Notice there we're already at 7.8, 8 millivolts. Okay, we're up to 9 millivolts. Still going up, folks. So 9.7 millivolts, and then it started going down. All right, so let's say right around the 9.7 millivolt range, it was hitting 10 millivolts. There we go, 10 millivolts. So let's say it's 10 millivolts on a cell made out of aluminum and a standard pencil. That's an incredible amount of production compared to other videos that I showed you that we were using nitinol and copper which produced about 5.3 millivolts when you use that in combination. Uh, aluminum and iron produced 2.5 or so millivolts. The copper and iron produced uh, 
like a 1.3 millivolt, so very low production. So obviously the 10 millivolts being produced by a simple pencil and some cheap aluminum wire is going to give you the very best potential. Now, what would this be? So let's say we got 10 millivolts per cell. 100 cells would give us one volt. Uh, the previous video I showed you 100 cells that was able to produce a quarter volt with the aluminum and iron conductor combination. So right now we can actually produce one volt out of 100 points, 100 cells of these put together. Uh, so four of those, we got four volts, so a 12 pack of them we actually get to 12 volts at 100 cells per pack. So I'm going to start building actually an entire cell package here of pencils, and aluminum wire of a thermoelectric generator and show you if we can get up to the higher voltage potentials with a much smaller system than what we were able to do with the iron aluminum conductor or even the night and all copper conductor combinations. Hope you enjoyed. Until next time, this is Mr. Teslonian. All right, folks, so real quickly here, I built a cell out of a bunch of little sections of that pencil I just showed you in action. So we've got six cells all put together there. The aluminum in between each cell is a piece of this aluminum flashing cut down real thin. I'll show you that another. So I moved it around a little bit. What I'm going to do now, instead of trying to use a lighter, I'm going to use a torch to heat all these tips evenly. We've got our meter set, so let me go ahead and get this torch lit. So there we go. Let's go ahead and see what we produce here if we heat all those tips evenly. So you can see it moves around quite a bit. Here we go. Let's hit a little heat to that. You'll notice immediately a jump on the millivoltage. I want to overheat these. 58 millivolts, 70, 80 millivolts. There's 123, 124. You notice I'm just giving it a little jump of heat. There when it hits so high because it's actually loosening when it does that. The metal bends loose. So 190 millivolts, 198.7 millivolts. Look at that, it's gonna hold right about there and slowly as it cools, it should drop in voltage. So there you go folks, I thought you'd enjoy. That's a lot of voltage for a thermoelectric generator on such a simple cell, made with only six actual individual little thermal piles there, thermoelectric cells. Hope you enjoyed, Till next time, this is Mr. Teslonian.